Let's just not be too obvious. One day when you and I are on the circle, we could change how things are run around here. Hello and welcome to an on and with Odin playing <clears throat> They're lording it over us all the time. Skyrim. Firehawk Chronicles, as I am starting to really like calling it, just to put my little stamp on the series of this character. This is Yulva Firehawk, and, well, she's joined the Companions. She's also in the progress of joining the Imperials, because being a Firehawk, she enjoys war. And I don't think I've made it entirely clear. I love war. I adore war. Everything must be war. <laughs> kind of wish I knew that entire speech off by heart just to say it right now, but still, I don't. But those who, uh, that should be enough for those who know what I'm on about to get what I'm on about. Uh, so from those conversations, either... Skure and Ayla have something going on, or they've been maybe doing some hunting of the most dangerous kind that uh, Codlac doesn't agree with. Maybe something like hunting um, the Silver Hand, or um, maybe. Oh, Vigilance of Stendar. Maybe they've been killing Vigilance of Stendar. Maybe. But then again, like, Ayla was speaking to this guy, and she said there was nothing going on between them. So yeah, maybe they're doing something that involves killing that is drawing too much attention to them. And that's why Codlight doesn't like it. I don't know. But yes... Yilva Firehawk. God, I love those eyes and the whole general look she has. I'm really proud of this look, this character. She's awesome. <clears throat> now, we need to go to the blacksmith. Because, as you know, the throwing axes mod that was awesome was also making us crash frequently. So I had to remove it. However, what I am trying to do right now is, if it saves without crashing, yeah, maybe this will be okay. I have Uninstalled the throwing weapons redux and installed throwing weapons. Now it's an older mod than the one I was using. But maybe it's not gonna make us crash like the redone one does? We will have to see. I don't claim to be the best blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Because I don't, as much as I accept that I might have to resort to just a bow, I don't wanna. <laughs> I want my throwing axes, damn it. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Welcome to War Maidens. Hmm. Blades, helmets, Come pretty on. much anything to suit your needs. Come on. Damn it. Good doing business with you. Oh, and also, um, hopefully it's working now. Put my hide helmet on. Helmet on. God damn, this mod does not work. Yeah, I've got a mod that's meant very much like the uh, automatically removing the arrows deal. It's 
It's meant to automatically take your helmet off. But... Did you know there's... It's just not working. Fruits that actually grow better in the cold... Maybe it's because I had my weapons put away when I put it on. Yeah! Whoop. Ah, so remember, have your weapons out when you put on a helmet, otherwise the mod doesn't work. Tanning rank. Let's see, anything in here? Nope. Nope. I can make a small floor tent, but I don't want to. I want to make a large one. Because in time, I'll Have need you met one. My father? He's a steward at the dragon. Take a look. Maybe it's in Misk. No? No. Or maybe it's just going to take a bit of time for it to spawn. Excuse me. Thank you. Draugr? Arrow Saber. Saber Longbow? <gasps> oh yes! I didn't know this was part of this, but what I have done, I have installed a few armors that will be appropriate for Yva. And I got that from somewhere. What the? Where's that from? Oh, yeah, um, this is part of the throwing weapons special weapons. So yeah, you have the throwing shield. Um, and in here somewhere, I believe we have iron javelin. There we go. Iron shuriken. Okay. Iron throwing axe. There we go. We have the Saber Hunter's armor. We have Hunter, uh, Puma, and Snow. So Yulva is going to go hunting herself some saber cats to turn them in to armor. I feel I got the steel. I thought I got the steel perk. Because, you know, steel, I should be able to make steel throwing axes. Bandage gag? What? Holy water potion grenade. Ah, hello! That's what I was looking for under steel. Another one of the special weapons. Molnir. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be using that. That may be for like another character we do just for fun. What is with all of those like ch -ch 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 terms at the bottom there? So we have Molnir. But apparently I'm not good enough to make um throwing axes, well, steel throwing axes, yet. But... Got, I don't claim to come be here. The best, hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much you got any iron? Alright. I'll take all of those because I'm loaded. I just noticed I have 2,500. Wow. Jeez. Then again, I did kind of, last episode, just, just take all of the money. All of it. Just... All of... The money from White Run by selling legitimately a whole bunch of stuff. I need more. Let's 
See, that gives me... Oh, that's giving me 10 each. I'm not going to need more than 30, am I? I've got 30. That's enough. Jesus Christ. And also, level up. Health. No, not health. Stamina. Oh, I hadn't... Okay, apparently I didn't level up before I saved it. I thought I did. Smithing. Steel smithing. And if we head over to archery... You notice it looks a bit deformed, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Well, that's all we want is the axes. Power attacks with throwing weapons cost... Throwing weapons, not all... I guess the axes only have the balanced axes thing. Oh, well. They're strong enough as they are, so... I'm going to put one into that. And according to the mod maker, the sneak attack triple damage does apply to these weapons. Oh, God damn it. I need to go see now. Could I have just made steel ones if I had realized I hadn't leveled up? I can, I can very samurai boots? Whoa. The hell? Scimitar? Silver greatsword? I can make silver swords now? With steel? I didn't realize steel let you do that. Jesus Christ. Look at all of those. Now it go on its shield chin. Yep, still throwing axes. 43! Whoa! Okay, apparently they're not as balanced in this mod. But screw it. I want my throwing axes. I'll stick to iron for now. Because I need steel ingots. How do you work steel ingots? Like, you need, like, tin, wouldn't you? To go with the iron? Corundium ore. Okay. Corundium ore and iron ore. Very well. Da -da -da. Yilva needs to go sleep, apparently. God damn it. I just left the companion hall. Now I need to go back and sleep. Oh. Um, also... Weapons. Favorite. She doesn't do things by heart. If she's going to throw stuff, she's going to throw them with both hands. And what are you doing there? Let's move you out of the way. God, nervous. Well, these particular axes, I know it's a foreign concept to you people of Skyrim, you Nords. But it is a fine thing that the Norse people from my homeland do, of throwing axes that have particularly specially made weights to them, so that you can throw them, rather than using a bow. It keeps your Skyrim arms strong. I have the strength of Isgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. Oh, hey. I'm still trying to figure out why Skior let you in in the first place. And I'm trying to figure out why you're such a bitch! <laughs> God damn! Give me a break! She jelly because I'm pretty. <laughs> the latest recruit. Right? Wait, is that right? Oh my god, Metal Gear. Cut all. I can't believe the guys in this place. They treat me like I'm just a newbie. Do they not know who they're dealing with? Oh my god. Coffee, I have coffee finally. 
therefore I'm probably going to be a lot more myself because I'm not too tired to be myself. <laughs> Let's wake up and have some mead and hawker loaf. Get an apple and I guess we should actually drink some water with that. Hey Mika, are you enjoying hanging out here? Yeah, you good. Yeah, you good boy. I was the newest companion. Coffee. <laughs> oh, hey there. I killed a bear yesterday. Did you kill anything? I'm still trying to figure out why Skior let you in in the first place. You know what? If the circle vouches for you, I'm sworn to respect their judgment. But that doesn't mean I like it. Why is there not a brawl with you to, to show you why they let me in? I kicked Vilkas's ass! Did you see the wounds I gave him? If he wasn't a werewolf, then he wouldn't have survived- Oh, wait, I don't know that yet, do I? But still, you're a bitch! And you're not even a werewolf yet, so I don't know why you're such a bitch! Says that I... She's a fiery one, that Yilva. She doesn't take disrespect laying down. I mean, that's her saying that, not me, honestly. Honestly, no. <laughs> Then again, maybe Yilva, in her experience as a warrior, just can spot a werewolf. Like, even when they're in human form. Like, she sees those eyes and she's like, okay, that, yeah, you're a werewolf. Not gonna tell anybody about it, but still, it's pretty damn obvious you're a werewolf. The fuck? It's, it's, yeah. it's a fucking vampire! Jesus Christ! Goats! What the? Is he not throwing it? This isn't working. Shit. Fuck it. You leave that guy alone. You shall not turn him! I am stronger than I was. You fool! Oh god, that wolf, the hound is somehow stronger than the, the master. What are vampires doing in Whiterun? God damn! And seriously, why is this not working? There we go. What? Maybe it was just not working before for some reason? And... No vampire this time. You know what? I'm gonna say it was the vampire's magic that made me unable to throw my axes. Oh shit! Okay, there is a vampire. Aim level... 8? 
I'm gonna throw monster vampires at me, apparently. Really? That added to my bounce? No! No, piss off! You oh, fuck you. you in your fuck you is what I say in my defense, you fucker! I didn't do anything wrong! Fucking buggy game. I'm close to level 10, so the Dawn Guard vampires are out and about. Well, that ex also explains what happened in uh, Briarstone's uh, series when vampires started showing up everywhere. Oh shit! Too close. A little too close. Ow, motherfucker! Whoa, what the? They just appeared out of nowhere. With, like, the thwall can't be invisible. How did it suddenly just appear there? Wow. I'm glad I'm playing on the uh, fire, the Firehawk Chronicles, not uh, roguelike right now. Because if this happened on a roguelike character, I would be pissed. <laughs> but it's like all of a sudden just vampires. Look! Look at them just spawning in like an asshole. You know what? I'm gonna say this in Norse. Fire you! Again, bounty. No. Fuck that! Why is there a bounty? All I did was fucking roar at the enemy. I didn't harm anybody. God damn! Vampire showing up in my white one. I heard it! But these motherfucking vampires in their motherfucking spawning! Watching you. Hey. What? Why are you looking at? Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Here we go. I'll live to drink another day. Wait until I talk to a beggar, eh? You fiend. Didn't let Kaji into the sea. You honor Kaji with your presence. Oh. 
Or is it they can't like stay in the city? They can like come in and wander around, but they can't stay. I'm not taking that armor. I don't need any more money right now. I'll let that, the beggar just take it. Because then he can, you know, maybe sort himself out. And again, I probably should have done the same with that venison chop. But it's a venison chop, so, you know. Yes. So, yes, the Gilder Green is um, no longer. We have now the sapling of the um, the Elder Green to replace it because um, death leads to new life. And as so, as says Kinnereth. But that's the last thing I need is a freaking outbreak of vampires when I'm playing it on master difficulty. I'm going to need some... Well, I still have these. I guess people didn't have enough money for me to sell them to them. And my helmet didn't go on. I, I uh, saw it. The mod's broken, I think. Oh, wait. No, it's because I have my weapons put away. Did I just mess it up? Yeah, that was, that was just me being stupid. And now we ride. And do not let them say that we do not ride. Huh. Thankfully, I also have a mod installed so that the civilians will run away when vampires show up. Although apparently uh, the Khajiit was just a fierce warrior, therefore not a civilian, therefore she would go and fight. But I've got the same as the mod that makes everybody run inside when there's a dragon. I install one that does the same for when there's vampires about. Because, you know, they're not going to say, Holy shit, vampire! Kill it! I don't have a weapon, but kill it! They're going to be like, Holy shit, vampire! I'm no warrior, I'm heading inside! Why am I going to Riverwood? Bleak Falls... No, I'm not going to Bleak Falls Barrow yet. That's the last thing I want, is a dragon on my ass. I know it's what everyone says. To go to new places to see the world. You know, I kind of like that. He's sort of like... It's tr he's like he actually signed up to go explore. Like, just travel with the army. Oh, and also, yeah, um... Also, when I was checking the tags of Banished, for when you asked Kel, yeah, the reason you don't evolve your hunting capabilities is because it's medieval based. There is no civilization style advancing ages. It is medieval from the start, stays there. I know I kept saying colonial, but... Well, it's, it's still technically colonial, at least for those people, because they are starting 
they are like starting a new home they are colonizing Was that there before? What is this? Was this always here? Or is it ma or is it for the yeah, it's probably for the extra guards. Oh no! Yeah, man up. You are Nord for Christ's sake. As far as I can tell, that's this world's version of my people. Because intergalactic planetary, planetary, intergalactic firehawk is. Well, she goes where war is. War is sometimes not in the same place that she knows. Yes, we are say we are saying that Yilva Firehawk is a a Norse person in the land of Norths. Camp down here. Just a hunter. Whoops! I, I don't know why I pushed E to jump. That's not how it works. I anyway, best head east to make my way to north. Why did I come to Riverwood? Remember there being a house there. What is this? Swim, horsey. I mean, Queen Alsiger. I do not remember there being houses here. What? What is this place? There are multiple houses here, and docks, and Nern route somewhere. There is a camp with nobody at it. Looks like just a regular hunter camp. Oh, there's the hunter. <laughs> Oakwood. Yep, that's one of my workshop, uh, my workshop places. I mean, it's pretty law friendly, because I mean, it just looks like a regular little town. Huh. Yeah, got to head west and north. Fuck is. That a horse just running off on its own? What?
Is that a horse wearing bone armor? That's kind of badass. Look at. Oh, hey. Who are you? You're a hunter. And who is that guy up there? Who is that? Who are you? I'm confused! <laughs> What's going on? Who was that man on the ridge? Why was there suddenly a hunter? Why did he teleport to his horse? Was was the hunter the guy on the ridge? What's this? What's this? There's new things everywhere. Oh god. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm having a moment <laughs> of what the fuckery. Seriously, was that the hunter on the ridge and he teleported? Or was it somebody else? Skyrim. Answer me, Skyrim! Why are you so freaky? <laughs> wow. Skyrim, you screw. You got just teleporting people. Or vanishing people if that wasn't the same person tele moving to the horse there. Anyway, north. My horse can swim. It's no big deal. And there's a stone here. And there's a chest here. Is there a camp here? What is this place? There are werewolves here. There are werewolves here. Excuse me while I get the high ground. They just gonna run straight up there. So there's no. This is not an advantageous place to be, except the fact that I can probably just jump off into the water and not take any damage. Um, yeah, give me those. And I need to drink. I'm not gonna drink um, mead at a time like this. Those were werewolves, right? And this is a guardian stone of werewolves? Sunshine, lollipops, and werewolves. <laughs> Shit. Remus and Ramulus. Hey guys! Shit. Ooh, fuck. I am not afraid of you! Come and fall beneath my blades. Come here. Come here! Hey! The lady stone? Ow! <laughs> That's an owl! I'm dead. <laughs> and because I put my weapons away, it took off my helmet. 
because I died. <laughs> oh wait, auto saved? Oh, okay. Let me see if I can see what's in the chest first. I didn't. For one, I didn't know that's where the lady was. And two, I didn't know there was fucking werewolves there. And let me guess, the werewolves have the frickin' k Shit. Okay, I'm not stealth apparently. Stop attacking my horse! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Oh, my horse is taking a beating. Don't kill my horse! Wait, my horse in order. Good, you're dead. Well, go Queen Ulsiger! You are a badass tank. <laughs> and apparently, you're tastier than I am. Because this werewolf is not paying attention to me at all, despite you not attacking him. And she's just looking at the werewolf, being like, "What? What are you doing?" Jesus Christ! You okay? <laughs> Ragged trousers. Oh, these werewolves were from the armor set that I downloaded. Well, I guess I earned the key, so one of them must have been female. Huh. This isn't the one I plan to have for Yulva because, well, I want to make the Sabercat stuff and go hunting. It still looks pretty good. Like a little light amount, like a, just, just a bit of reinforcement under the leather. It's still freaking badass, but it's not, it doesn't suit Yulva. It doesn't suit her. I mean, it is really good, but still. Maybe if I make a leather... Like a leather cloak. Ah, but then there's the helmet. Uh. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice outfit, but it's not. It's 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 just not Yelva. Took off helmet, right? Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, that is a cool outfit. It's badass. I like it. But I'll, uh, yeah. That, I'll. What the fuck? All right. And it's not like a. It's a nice way to do it though, because it's not like a roguelike character can come up and just grab it because, fucking werewolves. <laughs> um. Yeah. I think maybe if I made like a um, arranged character, like an archer, she would wear something like that. And 
I need you to what? Get, get out of the water. There's a skeleton there. I would appreciate it if you got out of the water. We were up on it for a second there. Do you have to go around, really? No, fine. Okay. That's probably why I was heading to Riverwood. Like, I, I knew where it was, but subconsciously I just went for it, even though I didn't plan on using it for yoga. Um. Okay. What's this? Just a regular chest, okay. Is that like from one of the treasure maps or something? For a moment there I thought I had like downloaded another outfit that was just randomly placed nearby. Yeah, I downloaded that Sabercat stuff for Yolva because it's fur, but it will be a little stronger than a regular fur. I mean it requires, I think it said it required the advanced armors to improve it, but it looks like I can just make it if I get the stuff. When I get the stuff, I mean get the stuff by killing saber cats, which will be pretty intense. Oh, you're just a hunter, right? Yeah. Hey, dude. So I need to head north and west. So this is fine as it is. Where's that road go? Does it go around the mountain? Let's, let's go this way. I mean, this is south, but... Hey, if anything else, we can get to Falkreath and put that on the map. That's a fox. Okay, that's going east now. Screw it. What's that? I'm kind of exploring at the moment. Fly away? What? Well, so far, so good, in terms of the, uh, the f axes not making me crash. Hunter's Rest. Oh, that's what the, uh, I don't see them right now, but the, oh, hey, what the fuck? There's a pair of hunters that live here, yeah. Shit, I'm thirsty. And hungry. I am still thirsty after drinking water. Wow. Glug. Am I well hydrated? Yes. Random Coria. At least I think he's a Coria. And again, it would be interesting to all of a sudden the courier from uh, Fallout shows up. He's like, hey, what's up? You know, I was the, uh, I was uh, a Dragon Ball once. But, uh, nah. I thought being a courier would be a bit more interesting with less people riding on me. Okay, what was that stone noise? And then I heard, like, footsteps or somebody like falling oh look wolves really guys I can hold my axe out here all day hiya
I want amethyst. Nice. I'm glad this helmet mod is working. It's nice just to like see the hair as she's riding rather than the hide helmet. Because, you, you know, she wants to feel the wind in her hair. Skeever. I'm not even going to bother killing it. You might want to, though. Hey, there's a skeever there. Just heads up. Are we heading north now? We are. Good. Now, we would have to go to the the north, like the real north, to reach, uh, Saber Cat territory, wouldn't we? Or is it kind of random? Wait, what? We cleared this place out. Didn't we? I guess he was out hunting at the time. Sorry, I need to go see if any of your brethren came back as well. Oh, this is a different place. Oh, I remember, yeah. I once had uh, Django, I think it was called. Um... He was a saber cat mount. And these are orcs. And this is their mine. But they started shit with me. I thought this was Robert's Gorge. That's my bad. Yeah, and at um, one point I'm riding it in Whiterun because, uh, well, that mod allows you to ride him in Whiterun. And I was just running down the stairs on my mount and it tripped and fell because of physics and died and the corpse just freaked the fuck out and started flying around, tossing and turning, spinning in place. Uh, time to end this game. Oh god. I was telling a story, asshole. But yeah, it was... Yeah. It defied gravity and just started flying around. And Yilva knows, actually yeah, Yilva knows this place, because this is one of the places where she died. Not just now, but one of the places where, when the spawn was just, the uh, random start spawn mod was just putting me in dangerous places. That's one of the places she spawned. So she's back, baby. Although right now I'm, oh I'm here, okay. Whoop, uh oh. Don't die on me. What is this place? Oh, I know this is place. This is Granite Hall. One of the um, 13 Oranges DLC, I believe. Sorry if that is not the right modder, but I believe this is one of the many places that was made by that person. You know what, let's check it out. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we don't have the video from that. No, don't, don't eat while you're recording, damn it. No, bad. I know they're bonbons, but just leave them alone until you're not streaming. People do not want to hear you chew. There's a dead guy. There's a burned dead guy. What 
this place is dark. That's it. An open display case. So something tells me there was something valuable here. Somebody came and took it. Oh, apples. Salt. You know, this is rather nice, the fact that there's this, like, that feels very vanilla. Like that whole, just carrots and salt and sacks. That feels very vanilla, so if that's either part of like a random generation, or if the, the modder manually put that in. If the mod modder put that manually in, then good for you, dude. Granite hole fragment four. There's a witch here. And I found part four. Where the hell was part one, two, everything? Something tells me this witch got out. I don't know. Ew, why did I take that? Let me just put your bones back together. I know I took the vampire dust, but I'm spreading them around so that the vampire can't reform. At least that's how it works in where I come from. Mead. Always good. place is freaking brutal and I love it anyone notes around I want to find these notes now <laughs> I also want to know what was in that display case is that dripping water or can I hear footsteps realistic amount of money in the coin purses. Good. That's worth 50 taking that. Oh jeez. Burnt on the bed. There is a lot of blood down here. There is a lot of blood. The witch was a hag raven? What happened? The woodcutter's wife. That's nothing to do with this. What are you? Okay, this is, yeah. This isn't usable because, well, it's part of a mod. And I don't think other mods work within the mod. Because there's no modception here. Were they just plucking the feathers and freaking claws out of her? the fuck happened? Granite hole hag. 
The Hank's Charm increases damage resistance by 15%. So he was a tough little bitch. And hell yeah, I'm wearing that. I was expecting to find her alive and I would have to fight her. It's not another note. I want another note. Explain. Explain what happened. Well, they said it was getting cold while they were like torturing her or whatever. Did her dying just make it get incredibly hot? And everyone died because maybe it was like an explosion when she died but well not like an like an explosion explosion like a full-on rolling flames all the way through the halls okay Magical pot? Okay, I am freaked out now. What the fuck? You're still dead, aren't you? She's pissed I took her charm. Um, closing the door. Good job freaking me out, mod maker. Dude. I'm gonna endorse the shit out of this. Calm your shit, Skull. Books and brooms. Party on down. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Rock out. I know that sound. I know you're there, Hagraven. I'm gonna go with OW on that one! Where's my sneak? I thought I had that... What's this? Eight times damage. That... 
That's a little broken. I mean, I need to get three times with bow's damage, but... I mean, I can imagine if it was, like, an even higher skill than, say, like, let's see, backstab. Like, if it at least cost mm, 15 times, 3 times. Um, like 45. Not 30. You know what? I'm going to say I, I, have to, I have to get that in order to get that, because that should be, like, after backstab. Or between you know, the bow and and the dagger thing, because eight times. Wow. Get up. Battle cry. I'm not afraid of a stupid hag. Ghost or not, I cut her ass. <laughs> uh, and I couldn't loot her. I was expecting a bit more. And where's the rest of these notes? Notes or notes. Sit in the chair. That's always a good idea. Good dead guy. Pat pat on the head. Clean my boots, dead guy. <laughs> ah, well. I guess it made me earn the charm I got, although I could have just walked away. Or maybe I couldn't. Maybe if I tried the door it wouldn't have worked. So, that was a thing. Freaking props to the mod maker though. That, that was interesting. Like, it was creepy at first, and I was like, what the frick? And then, like, I found the witch was dead, and I was like, oh. Well, I was hoping, hoping to have to fight her. <laughs> and then, shit got real. And I was like, okay, I am actually getting pretty freaked out now. I'm also hardcore parkour. But yeah, I only found one of the notes. Like, what? Where's the rest of them? So yeah, that was um, 13 oranges. Uh, granite hall? Yeah. That was that was fun. That was a lot of fun. And I think I'm gonna make that its own its own little episode. So Oh god, I'm sleepy, hungry, thirsty. But I'm definitely not sleeping here. I mean, fuck that. <laughs> um, 
So, this is Bill Odin playing Skyrim Firehawk Chronicles. And I will be back soon for those who are watching live, and I'll see you in the next video, those who are watching recorded.